Hi guys, my name is Jana, for those of you who don't know me. Uh, today I will be making a video for the Potomac Beat channel on YouTube. And um, what we're going to make are these chandelier earrings. Um, for this you will need some 15-0 silver seed beads. These are silver lined. Also the same uh, in 11-0s. Uh, and you need four of these faceted uh, round trio beads. This is Crystal Labrador. And as you can see, you pay like $6.99 for a package. But the good thing is that there are plenty of them in here. And uh, you can make several of these earrings uh, out of them. So that's pretty cool. Um, you need four times three. That would be 12 um, mini duos. And this is aluminum silver. And you, well, this is optional. You can uh, use bicones if you have them, but you can, um, that would be four millimeter bicones. Or you can use these, what I'm using, four millimeters rondelles. And these are metallic transparent purple. That's just to give that a little bit of a blingy color in there. Uh, just like so that people go like is that a different color or is that silver? So this is like a sort of a silver color with the purple shade on there and I got four millimeter Swarovski bicones. These are silver shade and uh, The silver shade is like coated on one side and clear on the other side. I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna zoom that in a little bit So that's clear on this side and completely coat it on that side and what else you need you will need your wildfire and I use wildfire from Beetleon size 006 and I use some wax to run my thread through now I already know that uh, the wildfire is coated but I like to double coat so you don't have to coat them but it helps um, to keep your thread more secure. So for thread you need about an arm span wide and what I mean by that is hold the thread in one hand, open your arms wide like you're gonna hug somebody and then cut it off on the other side. You also need two needles. For me that's the easiest and it just goes the fastest. So we're going to start with our right needle. I'm gonna just put this left needle on the side. Let me see if I can put that in camera frame so that you can see when I pick up my next needle. Um, the you got three holes in the round trio, so make sure you're on the outside. Pick up a 15-0 seat bead. It's kind of hard to see. I'll put my finger underneath it because it's silver. But, you know, I, I, I thought of doing it in a different color, but it just doesn't turn out well. Another silver one, and make sure you're on the outside. And a silver seat bead 15-0. Got to put that out of the way. That's bugging me. And put the other uh, round tri trio on there. Another 15 0. And the last round trio. And another 15 0. So now we got four on there, and we just pull that through the middle of our thread. Just make sure you go to the middle. Take the ends of the thread, even though there's needles on there, and just kind of pull that through till you get everything in the middle. Now you just pick up the thread that is on the side of the seat bead right here and you just poke through that hole again with the round trio so that you go into the uh, hole where the other thread comes out of. And just make sure that you are in the middle. Just double check it again. Just grab your threads at the end and just pull that down and see if you're in the middle and if not just kind of slide that through the middle through to the middle okay when you get that done carefully pick up the bead and now go into let me turn like that into that middle hole right there with your right thread and do the same on the other side with your left thread so now we're coming out of the same hole. Threads are both on the, on, the, on the opposite sides. 
and just pull that tight right there. Now we're going to pick up two 11 O's with our right needle and we're also going to do that with our left needle. So we got two two and then we're going to pick up a rondelle on the right one and a rondelle on the left one. I'm going to move over a little bit like that. And now we're going to pick up one 15 0 again on both needles. And now we're going to grab on the right needle if you're right handed and on the left needle if you're left handed one 11 0. And then we're going to cross our needles into the 11 0. So then we're going to pull everything down. And we're going to pick up one 15 0 again with the needles. We're going to pick up our two rondelles and we're going to add two 15 0s on both needles to 15 0s. We're going to go on the other side in the middle hole, right there. With one needle, and the left one goes in from left to right on the other side. Now, you can leave it at that and not do the back, but I prefer to do the back. So I'm going to add another four and I'm going to repeat what I just did and I'm going to do that on the back. So this is just basically uh, you don't have to. I did it here. Um, it gives it a nice uh, um, three-dimensional look to it when you do double and it does get a little stronger so um, I prefer it, but you don't have to. If you, if you don't have enough uh, rondelles in the house, then that's okay. So we're going to pick up two um, seed beads 15-0 again on the right and the left needle. And we're going to turn that around. We're going to pick up the rondelles. Pick up one 15 0 on each needle. And now we're going to pick up an 11 0. And we're going to cross our needles in that 11 0. And this is for the left handed people. Now again. One 15 0 on each needle, one rondelle on each needle, and then two seed beads 15 0 on each needle. And then we're going into the middle of the opposite side with the right needle on the right side in towards the left side and the left needle goes in on the left side to the right. And watch out that you don't stick through any seat beads and just pull that up in position and we now have the rondelles on both sides. Now it doesn't really matter which side you work with if you only did one side it's very simple we're going to do the next step Pick up, I'm going to just work with your, uh, with your right needle. Pick up two 15 0 seed beads and go into the second hole. Stick that through. 
pick up another two seed beads 15-0 and stick it through the middle hole just be careful you don't go through any other seed beads and you come up on that side now we're going to pick up the other needle and we're going to pick up also two 15 O's and we're going into the middle bead on the left side make sure you're the middle bead because it's very easily very easily you go into the other side I'm going to pick up two more seed beads and we're going to go into that middle hole so that's where the th other thread already comes out of be careful you don't poke through any seed beads on the other side okay and it's easiest to do it like that you could have gone all the way around but it's just easiest to do it like this because then your thread will stay in the same length on both sides so now we're going to go and take the right needle and we're going to go step up in the top hole and we're going to take the left needle and go into the left hole and go to the right like that and now we're going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead three times silver mini duo and another 15 0 seed bead so that's 15 0 seed bead three times silver mini duo and seed bead and we're going to go back into that same uh, round trio now pick up three seed beads size 11 0 go into the next top hole and again add to your needle one 15-0 three times silver mini duo one 15-0 silver and again go in to the top hole on the right side now pick up three 11 O's and go into the bottom hole right there now we're going to do the same on the other side and it's easiest when you just turn your project so you're kind of working from the right side the whole time so I'm just going to turn it around pick up my needle I got it on the right side if you're left-handed perfect project for left-handed people too you can turn it around uh, front is back and back is front so it really doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed for this project pick up three more seat beads size 11 0 and you go into that top hole and you pick up your a 15 0 seat bead three times silver mini duo and another 15-0 seat bead and then you're going to go in back into the top hole right there and again you're going to pick up three seat beads and you're going to cross in there on the other side now in order to just kind of keep everything balanced out we're going to pick up two seat beads or one seat bead on each needle 15-0 and then we're going to pick up one mini duo on each needle and we're going to cross in the mini duo so you got the one on the right side or the left side if you're left-handed and then you're just going to cross in there like that like that and then the right needle goes down in the mini duo and the 15 0 seat bead and it goes into the top hole and through two 11 O's like that then the right needle or the left needle goes into mini duo on the left side the 15 0 seat bead and into the top hole
and just kind of pull that all tight right now. Okay, now we're going to start on this side adding a bicone, but we need to stay uh, with the needle uh, in, in, uh, in sort of in the same place. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the right needle and we're going through the, I'm going to turn it around because that, that's easier, we're going through the three seed beads 11O. Be careful you don't stick into the 15O underneath the uh, mini duos. And we're going into the top hole brown trio. Into the three seat beats again. Brown trio. Into the three seat beats. Brown trio. And we're going to pick up two seat beats. 11-0. And now you come out of that seed bead on both sides with your threads. Okay? So we're going to turn that back. We're going to leave the one that we just did. We're going to put that on the side. We're going to turn it around again because that works the easiest. And we're going to pick up a silver shade. And I used the shady side. I want the shady side upwards like that. Uh, against the mini duo, but you can also do it down so that you, do, you have the shady side down. But I like the shady side up. So a four millimeter bicone plus a seat beat 15 0 going into the top hole of the uh, mini duo, and then I'm going to pick up an 11 0 going into the next top next top hole. You're going to pick up two more. 11 O's going back into that same top hole. Then I'm going to pick up the first of the two and I'm going to pick up another one 11 O and I'm going to go down in the second one. And sometimes people ask me why don't you just do three? Well I always kind of like the sharp edges that it gives me when I do two plus one and when you do three it gets more rounded. So I'm going back into the top hole of the mini duo and I'm going to pick up another 11-0 into the top hole right there. And now I'm going to pick up a bicone, but I gotta be careful because I want the bicone to be like that. So I pick it up just to put it in the right position. Then I'm gonna pick up a 15 0 and then I'm gonna go into the bicone in the position that I want it. And I'm going in that middle 15 0 seat bead. Now the next one needs to go upward again. So then you go into the side that is clear and you need another 15 0 to go right here in that top hole of the mini duo. Get that needle out of the way. Again we pick up an 11-0 and we pick up two 11 O's into the top hole going into the first one grabbing another one going down in the second one into the top hole of the mini duo and another 11 O right there Next we pick up six 15 O's so that's six in total and we're going into this top hole. Pick up an 11 O 
into that mini duo. At two to your needle, eleven O into the top, going up in the first one. Adding one to your needle, go down in the second one, going back into the top hole, and now we're going up in the first one again and into the middle one, like that. And now just leave it like that. I'm going to pick up the other needle. Put that needle away and just turn it around again. That's just easiest if you're right handed. We're going to pick up our last pie cone, and that's why I said it's important that you come out in that same area. Pick up a pie cone and a 15 0, go into mini duo, and we're going to add an 11 0 right here. We're going to pick up two more, go back into that top hole of the mini duo, into the first one, pick up another one, into the second one, back into the top hole, grabbing another 11-0 in there and now pick up six 50 nos one two three four five six and we're going into this mini duo on the side we're going to grab one 11 0 going into the top hole we're going up on the side in that first seat bead and then we're going into the middle one to cross our threads in that middle seat bead. Now you got this part done. For the next part we need three more bicones um, the, uh, of the same color or a different color, whatever you like. Um, it's easy if you got like leftover uh, beads because you, you don't use that many bicones. You can also use different colors, so that would be cool. But I'm going to keep everything in one color because I kind of like the way this looks. Um, it's very like um, uh, Victorian vintage silver. Looks beautiful. So I like I like the look of it. So I'm going to keep it in silver. And uh, for this, you need to now take two seed beads on every uh, on both needles, uh, the 15 O's. And what I like to do is now I like to get my um, my silver shade uh, pointing towards the top. So my silver shade is is uh, pointing towards the top, and we can put that on there. And then I'm going to add three more seed beads on both needles, 15 0. One, two, three. Gotta look at my own design because sometimes I forget what I've done. Uh, got three more seed beads right there. So pulling that down on both needles. And you will find that one thread now is a little longer than the other one, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Next, we're going to pick up three 11 0 seed beads. And you're kind of used to like uh, crossing your needles, but in this case, just pull them down on your thread because that needle just go, needs to go into the same direction. Right there. Everything goes up now. Now I want my silver shade on the end pointing back to these colors of silver shade. So I got the silver shade on the bottom now. Pull that through on one side and you also have to go through there with your needle 
on the other side also in the upwards direction so no crossing the needles in there now we're going to make our loop and it's still very flexible as you can see so we need to make our loop now and we need to do that with both threads so you pick up six seed beads uh, 15-0 and then you're gonna pull them all down and now you're gonna go back into that last seed bead so I got five here that are unused and I'm going back in the sixth one can you see that? I'm now going back in that six seed bead so I got the, five, the other five are here and I'm going into that six seed bead turning back and I'm going to go and this is like this, uh, the needle on the right side or the left side, it doesn't really matter. Go back through the three 11 O's. And into the three seed beads and the bicone on the right side. I'm going to pick up the other thread. and that needs to go up in the seed bead and all six of them but first you have to go through that very first seed bead that is right on top of the bicone so that's one and then you go through all five that are surrounding it one two three four five and then you also have to go back again in that same seat bead. And then the bicone, the three 11 O's, and pull that all down. And then the three seat beads, 15 O, and the bicone on the other side, of course, like that. And just kind of pull it all tight there and turn it around because we're going upwards we're going to add 15 15 oh silver seed beads on our needle now I got 15 but I always double count in sets of five just to make sure that I got 15 and one didn't go somewhere so I know I got 15 and we're going to go into this bottom 11 o of the three right there. Now we're going to pick up another 15-0 and then we're just going to go back in all these 15-0s. Make sure you don't skip one, make sure you got all of them. Pick them all up. And back into the bicone. And just leave it right there. Now we're going to take the other one, and oh, I love it, the fact that this is like a double sided uh, piece because now I can just go pick up the right side again. And another 15. So we're going to pick up another 15 for the other side. Yep. And we're going on the bottom side again, right here. Pick up another 15 for the other side. And you might wonder why that is. Uh, well, first of all, you don't want to see thread, because if you go back now into these 50 nodes, you will see thread, and we don't want that to do to do that. But we're also going to get, get a nice edge. So just one, and then it will look perfect afterwards. So we're going to go back in all these 15 seed beads. There, and pull that tight. I'm going to pick up both threads again. And now we need an 11 O, and we're going to pull that and cross in that 11 O, and we're going back into the bicone, and this will make it nice and stiff, and we're going to go into all these 15 seat beads, and up that 
11 now. I'm going to go into the middle one, into the one underneath it, also 11 0. I'm going to go into 11 0 top hole, mini duo. into the 15 0 and the bike cone. Picking up a 15 0 going up the bike cone into the 15 0 mini duo up in 11 0 top hole Into the 11 0 mini duo, fifteen oh, bike on at fifteen oh to needle up the bike on into the into the fifteen oh into mini duo and the 11 o up to 11 o's and we're going to grab an 11 o and then we're going into that extra uh, seat bead that we added on top of these 11 o and then we're going back into this set of 15 O's. And a bicon. Now for the next part you have to be very careful. First we're going to start with the thread that comes out of the 11 O. And you might not be able to go through the mini duos anymore. So now, uh, if you can go through there, especially the middle one, we need to go around it, okay? So we're going back into this bicone, and it's going to be really tough because this already got like three threads through there. But we're going to go and push it forth then. I'm going into the bicone, and I took my needle off my other thread because it's getting pretty short and I don't want it to be in my way. Just try and pick up all these 15 seat beads at the same time. Just put your finger on that one that you added so that you don't go through there. Just kind of push that out of the way. There. And you might need pliers now and then to just get through there. We're going again. We're going up in the 11-0. And you just added this seat bead, so we're going to skip that one. I'm going to go into the one that's behind it. And we're going to go around, down in that one. I'm going to turn it around because it works easier when it's on the right side. Now we got an 11 hole here that um, mini duo and a 15 0 I'm going to push it through there. The bike cone and the 11 0 that you just added when you did your previous round into the bike cone, the 11 0 the mini duo and the 11 0. Now I'm gonna go, I know I can't go through here anymore so I'm gonna go up an 11 0 and then I'm gonna skip the middle one because I don't want to um, pull that down in any way so I'm going to turn it around and I'm just gonna put that thread already in between there so it doesn't get caught around it. Pick up the 11 0 and the next 11 0, the mini duo and why not the 15 0 that's behind that? Into 
the bicon and the eleven O you added on your last round. Up the bicon and the eleven O. Into the mini duo, the eleven O. The eleven O that comes after that, where you are uh, the one of three that goes up for the, that middle pico. Then we're gonna go into the middle pico, and here we're going to add another eleven O to our needle, going back into the fifteen O. And now we're going to go through all these 50 nodes again. And that's the hardest part actually. And if you can push it through in the bicone, you might break a needle on this, but you should be able to still go through there. You can try and come out in front of that bicone if it's hard. I love John James needles because they don't break so easily. And there, made it again without breaking a 15 0 seat bead. Into the bicone. Into the middle seat bead and just kind of push it to the front because the other thread is on the other side. And this is where we double knot. One. and two and now we push our thread back into the bicone and now we push our needle back into the bicone so we can pull our knot in there pop you can hear it pop you can feel it pop and when it goes pop, it's time to very carefully cut off your threads. And that just leaves adding the ear hook. So let's go add an ear hook. that up just kind of see where where the uh, spot is open that would be on this side I think sometimes you can't see it you just have to try just kind of pull it towards you and then just add that on there and the good thing is it doesn't have a front or back so this should be very easy to just kind of put it on there And then close that up. And if like me, you pull these things out of the way, you gotta put them back. Which is harder than pushing them out of the way. And here they both are and I love them very much they're very Victorian and very stylish uh, very classy I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you guys next time maybe I'll be here again or I'll be on my own channel but um, if you don't know who I am if or, or if you never heard of me and you liked what you saw then come and have a look for me um, on YouTube on the uh, on my channels uh, and I see you guys next time bye